Do you see how uncluttered that view of Night City is? How no heads up display is getting in the way? Well, watch this. When I pull out my weapon, the heads up display returns. I put it away, it disappears. But I've also got a quest objective selected and I can't see it anywhere. Where is it? There it is, along with the journal entry in the top right hand corner. But sometimes I want the mini map as well. Well, with a simple key press, there it is. There it's gone, on and off at will. But watch this, I turn the mini map on and you see how zoomed in it is? Watch what happens when I climb in the car. That's right, it zooms out so I get even more view ahead of the things I'm gonna crash into. The mod is called Limited Hood, and honestly, you can probably figure out exactly what it does from what I've shown you already. It hides a heads-up display and then returns various elements when you need them. And in fact, you can actually customize all of the different elements to appear when you want. It really is a, an easy mod to personalize and get the heads-up display behaving exactly as you want it to. But it does involve a little bit of editing of some files. And I know some people do get a tad nervous when, when they have to do that. It really is not hard at all. I wanna show you how easy it is. And that's basically what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of this video, just showing you how to set the mod up so that it meets your needs. Obviously, the first thing to do is download the mod so we can install it. And I'm going to include the link to the Nexus page in the description down below. You go along, check the requirements. It needs another mod called Red Script. So you can click on this link if you don't already have that installed and follow the instructions to install that. It's actually very easy. You'll be able to figure it out just watching me install this mod. To install this mod, I am going to go to the file section and choose the all in one option. Now there are individual options if all you want here are one or two of the different display elements controlled by this mod. But frankly, I recommend the all in one. There are so many options, you should be able to find a setting for every element that will suit you. So this is the simplest option. I'm gonna click mod manager download and it will start downloading to Vortex or whatever mod management tool you're using. Once it's downloaded, you can either install from the notification or from the blue button over there, either works. And the installation process is pretty simple. Hit enable when it's done. And then you will need to elevate, click the elevate button. You will probably get asked a security qu question, click yes, and you're actually done. Once in game, you'll see the mod working straight away. The heads up display should be completely clear. But if you take out a weapon, certain elements will uh, show up, put the weapon away, they go away again. Now by default, there is no minimap hotkey. I'll have to show you how to set that up in a little while. But for now, I'll show you what happens when I get in the car. The minimap immediately appears, as does the journal entry. It's not zoomed in yet. But you, you know, you can see the minimap is available for when driving and then disappears when I get out of the car. If I hit the right mouse button to zoom in, it shows me the current quest objective. It shows my journal entry and the minimap. If I crouch, the default behavior is to actually show the quest objective. Not totally sure why, but that's the default behavior. At least it shows you that you can trigger things based on, on stealth. If I start a fight, you'll notice the quest objective appeared. And it also appears when I activate the scanner. Now, I'm gonna tweak a few things. For example, I'm going to stop the quest objective marker appearing when I crouch and I'm going to make the journal appear when I activate the scanner. Customizing this mod does require the use of a text editor of some sort. I'll be using Notepad++ in this video, but you can use the standard Notepad that comes with Windows if you want. 
Obviously, you're going to need to find the settings file to edit. And if you're using Vortex, it's very, very easy. Go along to the installed mod, right click on it and go down to where it says open in file manager and then left click. Most mod management tools will give you some option along those lines. You then need to go into R6, scripts, and then LHUD, and you're looking for HUD config.reds. If for some reason you're using a really old mod manager or you've manually installed the mod, you'll have to go along to the actual games folder itself. Mine is in uh, on my F drive under GOG Cyberpunk and then go to R6 scripts. LHUD and edit the same file. Now with Vortex, these two files are actually the same thing. This is just a link to this one. So it doesn't matter where you edit the file from. Now I just right click and click edit with Notepad++. It will open the file and you can see it's, it's quite a short settings file. And there's a little section for each module. Action buttons module, mini map module, player health bar module quest tracker module and world markers module. If we look at the world markers module, you can see that show in combat is set to true, show in stealth is set to true and so on. I'm actually going to change it so that the quest marker is off all the time by changing true to false on every option except the scanner one. Oh, and, and the zoom, I'll leave it on with zoom and scanner. I don't want it appearing in combat or when I'm stealthing. For the quest tracker, I don't want it to show when I'm in the car. Thank you very much. I quite like it showing when I've got the scanner on though, and I'll leave it with show with zoom. Uh, true. And I'm going to leave the health bar module and the minimap module as they are. You can change them if you want. Same with the action buttons. I generally like to keep those hidden anyway. In fact, you know what? I am going to make them hidden. You can turn the action buttons off in the, the standard settings menu if you really don't want it. And I pretty much don't. But this will probably do the same thing. And that's it. Hit Control S or save and you're actually finished. Back in game, if I now crouch, the quest marker is not appearing, but if I activate my scanner, it is appearing, as is the journal in the top right. And it's that easy. You can change the settings to your own personal preferences, but it, it's pretty much the same process no matter what you want. Just change true to false or false to true, and it should work perfectly. Now, if you want the zoom out functionality when looking at the minimap in the car, you need to go to the optional file section and download either the times 1.5 minimap zoom option or the times 1.75. I'm going to take the times 1.75, download to your mod manager again. For me, it's Vortex. And once it's downloaded, hit install, enable, and then, of course, I need to elevate. Now, if I hit the right mouse button to zoom in, you can see my mini map. I can't really see very far ahead on this road, but I get in the car and immediately you can see much further. It's that simple. And honestly, that is just that is so very useful. I mean, running around with a close up mini map is great if you're trying to find the right door, but for driving, you do want to be able to see the corner slightly before it goes whizzing past at 200 miles an hour, right? And honestly, you could probably leave it there for 99% of the people out there. That's probably what you need. You don't need the hotkey because you can zoom in and because you can set it to always be on in combat or in the car. However, if you really do want a toggle key, I am going to show you how to do that now. It is a little more complicated though. You're going to be editing some of the game's own settings files. And I know some people are a little, you know, again, nervous about that. And that is completely understandable. So if you want to leave it there, I will totally understand. That's the mod. Those are the options. And it really is, for me, a massive game changer.
To set up the minimap hotkey, go back to Vortex or whatever mod management tool you're using and once again find where the mod is actually installed and open that up and immediately you should see a file called minimap hotkey how to instructions.txt. You can either open it with Notepad++ or, you know, the standard Notepad and then read these instructions. Do that kind of carefully. Make sure you know what you're doing. You will need to open three files. You're going to need to go along to where your Cyberpunk game is installed. For me, it's on my F drive under GOG Cyberpunk. Then you need to go into R6 and config. And the first two files you're going to need to edit our input context. So I'm going to edit that with Notepad++. Then I'm going to go back there. And also input user mappings. I'm going to all open all three at once. The third file can be found under settings, platform, PC, and is options.json. I will right click and open that one. So I now have all three files opened and ready to edit. The first file I'm going to edit is options.json. And if I go back to the instructions, I'm looking for this block, a block that contains name equals and crafting. One easy way to find this would be to select that line there, copy it, and then go back to options.json, control F, paste that in and find. It should find it for you and you'll find a block that looks exactly like that. Now, below this block, so I'm going to uh, press enter right there. Below this block, you need to add, if you go back to the instructions, this entire block. So once again, I'm going to select the whole thing. I'm going to copy, go back to options.json and select there, control V or right click and paste. And now that entire block has been added. I then press Control S or of course go up to File and hit Save. The next file I'm going to edit is InputContext.xml. And if I go back to the instructions, you need to find the following line, this one. So select it, Control C to copy, go back to the XML file, Control F to find, paste it into the, the box and then hit find next. And I'm gonna press enter right at the end here to add a new line. And then you need to go back to your instructions and add that entire line. Control C, Control V right there. And then once again, I'm gonna Control S, although I've still got some more things to do here. I then need to go and find this block here. Easiest way to do that, select the first line, Control C, or again, copy, go back to your XML file, Control F, paste it there with Control V, find next. Below this, I'm gonna put another enter, you need to add this block, accepted events action equals toggle minimap. Control C, paste that into the XML file. Again, I'm gonna press Control S to save it. The third and final file I'm going to edit is the input user mappings.xml. And once again, go back to the instructions and I'm looking for a block that starts with this line, mapping name equals open hood menu underscore button, etc. So I select it once again, copy with Control C, go back to the XML, Control F to find, Control V to change the text, find next. That is the block I'm looking for. And below that, I need to add this new block. I'm gonna control C on that. Add the extra enter there and then control V. And this now adds the, min, the toggle minimap hotkey. I'm going to change this. It says IKF8. That is the key code for your F8 
key on your keyboard. I'm going to change mine to NUM minus. I believe that is the code for the number pad minus key. You can change it to whatever you want. If you wanted to change it to the L key, you could change it to I key L, L shift. You know, that's completely up to you. And of course, once again, you have to control S, save to make sure these, uh, these settings are actually written to the file. And that's it. The hotkey should now work. And once again, I'm going to press the hotkey. And there's the minimap. It's that simple. I can toggle it on and off at will now. Now, honestly, I do understand some of you will be reluctant to do that much editing to get the hotkey working, and you probably don't really need it. You can set the minimap to appear when you climb in your car or during combat or sneaking if you want, or of course, just to come on when you zoom in. And that's probably good enough, and it saves you a little bit of hassle and a tiny bit of worry if you're uncomfortable with that sort of thing. So it's completely up to you. I love this mod. I love the options. The mod author seems to be adding new things all the time, so I imagine it's only going to get better. And I have to say, this is the mod that's got me invested in modding Cyberpunk. I finally decided, you know what, it's time to go a little mad and install lots of mods including one that teaches people how to go around a parked car. It's not a big car. Get, seriously, learn to drive. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me on this first Cyberpunk mod video that I have made. There may be more. I can imagine I will find mods that will uh, Peak my curiosity and I will make some more videos and of course I would love it if you could join me for those or indeed any of the other videos that I make. I look forward to seeing you on those videos if you care to join me and until then remember as always have fun.